right. Good morning, and thank you for joining us today for an exciting announcement about new resources that are available for small businesses here in Lincoln. Small businesses help bring Lincoln to life. And we see every day how local coffee shops bring people together for conversation and connection. And how local restaurants celebrate our culture and cuisine, and local retailers provide the special goods and services that add that extra special touch to birthdays, anniversaries, and other important moments in our lives. And we know that many of these businesses are family run. We also know that small businesses everywhere were hard hit by the pandemic. Small businesses are still experiencing revenue loss and have not yet made up for time lost in the pandemic. And that's why I'm pleased to be joined by my colleagues today to announce that help is here in the form of our community's Small Business Stabilization Grant Program, funded by the American Rescue Plan. Our local program will allocate $7 million in direct assistance to Lincoln's small businesses that are working hard to recover and have not yet made up for revenue losses related to the pandemic. This direct assistance will be provided in the form of grants to cover rent or mortgage payments. And by prepaying rent or mortgage expenses, we can provide the stabilization that businesses need and address the economic uncertainty caused by the pandemic. Businesses can apply for up to six months of assistance for up to a total of $60,000. And these resources will help small businesses in Lincoln stabilize, grow, and thrive. I'm really pleased that this project is part of the $108 million in American Rescue Plan state and local fiscal recovery funds deployed in partnership with our valued colleagues on the Lancaster County Board of Commissioners. And at this point, I'd like to invite Commissioner Sean Flowerday up to the podium to say a few words about our partnership. Thank you, Mayor Gaylor Baird. And thanks for all you have done to keep our community safe and strong throughout the pandemic and to support the healthcare choices that led us to reopening and re-energizing our economy. During the darkest days of the pandemic, I heard from business owners in my district about their needs and concerns. Small, small businesses worked hard, hustled, and found innovative ways to keep their doors open. They showed grit and tenacity, and they continue to serve our community. So today, I'm pleased that through the joint plan developed using city and county American Rescue Plan funds, we were able to offer a new opportunity to our hardworking small business owners across the city. Helping our friends and neighbors, our local business leaders, our neighborhood bars and restaurants is part of helping our community grow, prosper, and thrive. And small businesses do big business for our economy. We know that by supporting small businesses, we keep our dollars here, adding to local employment and business-to-business -business purchases. In fact, initial analysis of the program predicts that for every dollar dedicated to small businesses, our community will gain $1.75 in economic impact. I'm proud to be a part of it. And now I'd like to invite my colleague, Councilman Tom Beckius, local business leader and my former employer, Steve Engel, and Asian Community and Cultural Center Executive Director, Sheila Dorsey Vinton, to the podium to share more. Thank you, Commissioner Flower Day. As a member of the Lincoln City Council, I'm proud to serve my community and the small businesses that make Lincoln great. I'm especially proud to champion this program, which I know from my experience in real estate and as a small business owner will truly make a difference to business owners and landlords who, experiences, who have experienced losses during the pandemic. These grants will create ripple effects for businesses, their employees, and neighborhoods well into the future. Steve? I'm Steve Engel. I'm the managing partner of Buzzard Billies and the Starlight Lounge. I'm also the president of the Lincoln Haymarket Association. The uncertainty challenges related to the pandemic were significant for all of us in Lincoln's Haymarket. I'm so glad to see the Haymarket coming back to life. I'm also glad to see help and support coming from the city of Lincoln and the Lancaster County to help small businesses heal. I'm excited to see how this program helps our community grow. Hi, I'm Sheila Dorsey Vinton. I'm the Executive Director of the Asian Community and Cultural Center. I watched small businesses, especially female and minority owned businesses, struggle to get the help they needed throughout the pandemic. 
I'm pleased to be at the table as a partner to promote this program to small businesses, especially entrepreneurs and minority business owners. I want to extend my thanks to the city and the county for their hard work to make this program available and inclusive. Thank you so much, Councilman Beckius and Steve and Sheila. We're grateful for your work serving our community. And I want to say thank you to all of the partners who made the Small Business Stabilization Grant Program possible. Um, here are just a few more details as we wrap up. The small local businesses can apply for grants to cover their rent or mortgage expenses. And I want to be certain and clear, these are grants, not loans, and they don't need to be paid back. The funding source, once again, is the American Rescue Plan, which is designed to address the negative impacts of the pandemic and help all of us recover. And over the next two weeks, we will be providing more details and information about how to apply. The application for this program will go live on October 18th, and funds will be distributed first come, first serve. Businesses and landlords can learn more at our website, lincoln.ne.gov ARP. And together with my colleagues and friends in the community, I encourage all small businesses to apply. We want to see what you can do with this program that is designed for you to help you make your business stronger. And with that, we'd be happy to take any questions from the media. This is Bailey Bishop. I have a question for uh, one of the small business owners for uh, Steve Engel, just what would it do to have rent or a mortgage covered? Um, just what kind of benefit could that have? Bailey, Steve's on his way up to the podium now. I think it'll be a great benefit for the hay market. For us in general, we we had to pay rent on months that we were closed. So we, we were taking losses on all those months where we were also paying our employees. So the benefit that we can have is actually make up for losses that we sustained in 2020 and now move forward into 2021 with optimism. This is for the mayor. How, uh, how are you determining what small businesses will get these grants? Right, well, there is an application process and there is some criteria. We, of course, have to comply with the American Rescue Plan guidelines. Uh, but we are looking to have a big impact for our businesses that are small, size sort of 50 employees or fewer. And they do have to demonstrate that they experienced losses related to the pandemic. Um, we've had great support from our business community throughout this process in the form of the Mayor's Economic Recovery Task Force. And so some of the guidelines and recommendations that they made are also informing the selection process. Any other questions? I have a question for uh, Sheila. Um, just why was it important to bring um, a cultural center to the table and just um, what would be the message out to those um, minority owned um, business owners? Well, that's a great question. Um, so many times uh, cultural centers have the first contact with a lot of minority owned businesses, especially with the clients that we serve. And so uh, we are able to make sure that people who may not uh, be clued into some of uh, these announcements in this fashion uh, know about and are aware of and, and have some assistance in, ap in applying for the funds. And so uh, I think this is a, a great way for us to, to make sure that everybody knows. Thanks. This is Margaret from Real Star. I had a quick question about how what's the amount of money people can apply for? What's the top amount? And I'm assuming what happens here is they can use this to pay, pay mortgages coming up to make up for the losses they suffered, right? Thank you for the question. Businesses can apply for up to $60,000 over a period of six, um, six months. And it is available to pay rent and mortgages going into the future. So it is meant to stabilize businesses so that they don't have to worry about rent and mortgage right now, that they can focus on getting back on track, uh, you know, getting more employees back on the payroll and, and helping to um, stabilize their businesses and grow our economy. Thank you. Any other questions?
other questions? All right, well, thank you so much for helping us get the word out. We are very excited to be partnering, of course, with Sheila and our cultural centers to make sure that language access is not a barrier to this information. We want as many businesses to get this message as quickly as possible. It's a finite, a finite amount of money, up to $7 million, and we're eager to distribute it and encourage all our local businesses to apply. Thank you so much.